Today I'm going to talk about Tim Slade because why the hell or not? Timmy's done all right. He has done really well since he made his comeback um, in 2021 with Blanchard Racing Team. Got the two good years out of the three the three years they've had, and so and then he went to Premier, and that's been a good move as well. It's been good. He's been doing really well in that regard. I was surprised that he was even up for discussion as a question mark over whether he would keep his seat at Premier. I just thought maybe he's not bringing enough money. Is that why there was a question mark? I think I think that Peter Gibberus is the sort of guy who um, it's not about, in the same way that Kelly Racing was like, well, with Andre Heimgartner at least, it's not about how much money you bring. It's about whether you're good enough. And Jimmy Golding's good enough. He brings a bit of money. Tim Slade's good enough. He doesn't bring so much money. But he jumps in the car and he does a great job. Tim Slade has been in the sport for a long time. He made his debut in 2009 with Paul Morris in the super cheap car. And he was fast, and that was sort of his thing. Like he was the fast guy. He was always getting fastest laps. And he got his first pole position in 2012 with Stone Brothers. He had a pretty good stint at Stone Brothers in 2010, 2012. He just kept on getting better and better and better. And then 2012 came fifth in the championship and had racked up a few podiums. And... Um, then the, the team was sold to Erebus and they ran Mercedes and that was a not a good thing. They were not going well with the Mercedes. He did the one year and he was their best driver. He got the most top tens, he, but he wasn't the, the best in the championship. That was Lee Holdsworth. So 22nd the championship 2013, pretty much a dud year. Wasn't happy. And if you're watching, if you've watched any of the 2013 races or you watched it at the time, you just, all you saw was, it was like, it's the Mercs versus the Nissans. And I think the Nissans were getting better, but the Mercs were not getting better. And so, uh, Timmy looked elsewhere, and he went to Walkinshaw. It was like two different years. There was like, so 2014, he came 17th in the championship and got a bunch of podiums. And then there was 2015, where he came 13th in the championship or something, and one podium or something like that. It wasn't, it wasn't great, but it was interesting to see that there was a rough uh, time in that car. And 2016 goes to Brad Jones Racing, has quite a lot of success. Got his first wins, finally. Racked up a few podiums, but it wasn't great. And Brad Jones decided that it was time to move on to something different. At the end of 2019, he didn't have a full-time seat. DJ Team Penske picked him up because um, Alex Premer well, he's from Las Vegas. It's just difficult to have to fly a guy in every time you want him to drive the car. So it was a lot easier for Tim Slade to be their co-driver, and he did a good job. Then he got himself back in the game. He's been exactly what you wished he was, and more. Uh, he's not been amazingly impressive, but he racked up a fair few top tens for Premier, and that's, that's really good because that's what they need. And what are they, 6th or 7th in the team's championship? That's what they want. They want two gun drivers, James Golding and Tim Slade. One of them is bringing home the bacon. Doesn't matter which one, one of them. Timmy has turned his career around. He hasn't been on the podium yet, but he's been close a few times and he's been good. In terms of championship, it's been better. In terms of his stature as a driver, when you think of, of good drivers in the championship, Tim Slade is definitely one of them. I don't know why he would be in, in question. And the job that him and Jonathan Webb did at Sandown was amazing. First of all, Jonathan Webb, that's a guy that you wonder, oh, is he, is he good enough? But I think a lot of his reputation comes from his management of Team Sydney and Techno. Still a great driver. He proved it at Premier with, with Tim Slade at Sandown. You're looking at it going, what the hell? How come they're like banging around the top ten? Because that's what they do. You've got a couple of great drivers. They go to Bathurst, and it's just nowhere. Uh, not the best weekend, but the other car did. So one car good, one car bad. Go to a different day. One car good, one car bad. Doesn't matter what one. That's just the situation. Do I think there's uh, other opportunities, other teams that he could drive for? Don't think so. I think that established drivers are usually not the thing that teams are looking for. But the team like teams like Team 18. No, they grabbed David Reynolds. Team Team 18 are uh, less likely to go for a, a young driver. Teams like Brad Jones Racing and Walk and Shaw. Teams that have decided that, you know, they've picked the best of the best. 
this is this is as good as it gets and then anyone else they might as well get a young guy to come in because it's going to be a while before he gets as good as the best guy that they've got but I think Tim Slade's good and I think Tim Slade has I think he deserves a lot of the success that he's had he just needs to get a podium it'd be just really good to see him on the podium again he needs it he's been banging on the door a few times he's ready for it